Hi, it's Debbie Silver, the Mojo Coach. Have you ever noticed that when you're under stress, you may tend to gain some weight? There's a reason. There's a real big link between stress and weight gain. And here's what's going on. First of all, when you're under stress, and you know I keep talking about these hormones and chemicals, well, one of the things that they'll do is encourage you to eat, specifically high-fat, high-sugar foods. So you're flooding yourself with these hormones and chemicals that will encourage you to eat more. That's one thing. Another thing uh, that happens is when you are stressed, think about it. You are not interested in label reading, in making healthy choices. You just want the quickest, simplest, most convenient, easily available, readily available food that's around. Well, typically foods like that are very high in fat, sugar, and calories. Another thing that's happening is when you're under stress, you're just not interested in pre-planning. You know, when it comes to making healthy food choices or uh, making choices that'll help you lose weight, let's just say, very often it takes a plan. It takes pre-planning. Well, you know that saying, if you fail to plan, then plan to fail? Well, that's so true with healthy eating. And when you're stressed, you're just not interested in taking the time to do that because you're consumed with your stress, with, with what's giving you stress. So that's another thing. Also, when you're under stress, you want to eat comfort foods, and you, and you look for those comfort foods, and they're called comfort foods for a reason. Typically, these are foods that are loaded with fat, sugar, and calories. But what happens is, when we eat them, we're not just eating them for the food that they are. We're sort of hoping to trigger those same memories that we had when they were served to us in the past. So you may have had these warm, comforting, comfortable feelings when you were eating that meatloaf and mashed potatoes, and you find that when you're feeling stressed, when you're older, you may be doing the same thing. So you're, you're reaching for those foods, hoping to get the satisfaction uh, of that food along with that same feeling that it brings up for you from years ago. You know, the other thing that happens with stress and weight gain is if you're an emotional eater, here's what's going on. And, and there's a lot going on with emotional eating, but, but here's the main thing. With emotional eating, now this is a self-soothing technique that we need, we've either learned or we were taught on how to deal with our feelings, right? Well, what happens is, and it's a way to sort of self-medicate, it's a way to make us feel better. So what happens is when we eat foods, typically high in sugar, when we're, when we're looking to, to soothe those feelings, we're looking to soothe, calm, numb, relax. And we're reaching for these foods that are very high in sugar. And one of the, and one of the reasons is because they give us this boost of serotonin. Well, this is a chemical that helps soothe, calm, numb, relax. Well, of course we know what it does the minute we're done, right? We feel horrible for what we've done. I feel guilty, feel frustrated that this is the way that we've chosen to, to make ourselves feel better. But this is the system that we've chosen. This is the technique that we use. But what happens is, if this is the method that we've, that we've picked, to make ourselves feel better, and then we feel angry and frustrated when we're done, think about what we're doing. We're just setting ourselves right back up for another uh, eating binge. So, but when you're stressed, and if this is the method, a method that you've chosen to feel better, this is exactly when you're going to start eating emotionally. So between the food choices that we're making, the extra chemicals and hormones that are being secreted as a result of the stress we're feeling, the lack of pre-planning, right, because we're just not interested in it, the emotional eating that we may be doing, right, all these things together contribute to weight gain. So with our stress, we need to find better ways to combat it and better ways to work with our stress so we don't you know, we don't have that waking. If you're interested in this information and so much more, head on over to themojocoach.com. I'll see you there.